thank you for calling the front desk. My name is Jessica. How may I help you? Yeah, uh, one of the lights in our room is busted and we need a replacement. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I'll be up right away with the replacement for you. Front desk coming in. Hey, so sorry to get out with the light. I, ooh. Hi, yes, that light bulb up there. Yeah, I can see that. It looks like the whole bulb shattered. Are you guys okay? Oh yeah, we're fine. What happened? Well, it flickered really fast off and on. It flickered and then shattered? Well, no, it flickered like a camera, so I took a pillow and I smashed it out. What? It flickered like a camera, so you smashed it. Yup, I mean, it flickered like a camera. I didn't want someone watching me and my wife in our room, so I took care of it. Okay, okay then, uh, fair enough. Hey, Jess, question for you. Hey mom, what's up? Your grandpa's all set to move out here, but we are running into one problem. He arrives Sunday and the assisted care facility won't let him move in till Monday and he can't climb stairs. So staying with us isn't an option. I was wondering, could he stay at your hotel on Sunday night? Oh yeah, that won't be a problem at all. I can get him a first floor room and you know what? I actually worked the overnight on Sunday night. So if he needs anything at all, I could be there for him. Oh, fantastic. That's such a relief. You know, my dad can be a bit particular. Oh yeah, I know grandpa. All right, grandpa, so this is your room. Do you like it? Mm. If you need anything, I'll be just down the hallway all night, okay? Mm. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to the desk. Love you. Mm. All right then. Mm -mm. Grandpa, hey, what's up? Are you okay? Sure. What? Need sugar, glucose dropping. Oh, okay. Uh, d do you want a candy bar? D juice maybe? Uh... Just sugar. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I can grab you some sugar packets. Here. Real sugar only. Yep, no problem. Um, is, is this enough? Mm. You need anything else? Mm -mm, nope. Okay, all right then. Well, then you have a great rest of your night, Grandpa. Okay. You know, Mom called him particular, but I think peculiar might be a better word for Grandpa. Hi, can I have next guest? Hi, excuse me. Um, I, I need you to remove those people who are out at the pool, please. Oh, uh, yeah, I can certainly call security and have people removed if they're doing something that they shouldn't be. Uh, what's going on? Well, well, I just need them removed. Wait, so they're they're not doing anything wrong, though? Well, they've been at the pool for long enough, and now it's my family's turn to have it. I'm sorry, your turn. The pool is available to be used by all guests of the hotel while it's open. Well, uh, we're trying to celebrate a birthday. We want the pool for ourselves, for my family. We don't want a bunch of strangers running around it while we're trying to have a birthday celebration. Well, ma'am, if you want a private celebration, then I suggest booking or going to a private venue. But that's not fair. We've already booked and paid for this hotel hotel and we want to use the pool for our celebration. Ma'am, what's not fair here is asking guests who have paid for the same privilege to use the pool to not use it simply because you want to celebrate a private event. It would just be for the rest of today. I mean, come on, you seriously won't do this for us? No. Hey, manager, I got an issue. Oh, hey, Jess, what's up? Mr. Martin from room 202 just came down, slammed his phone on the desk, and started yelling at us about using the wrong card at check-in, and it's our fault. What's going on with this guy's account, his card? Okay, all right, I think I know what's going on here. I will go talk to him. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Martin, I'm the manager, and I have been informed that we're having an issue with the card on file with your reservation. First and foremost, may I please have the card that you wish to use? Yeah, it's supposed to be this one. All right, thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the card out on your reservation for you right now, okay? And you're gonna refund the charge on the other card? We'll be immediately releasing the hold that is on your card, but it is up to your bank on how quickly they will reflect that change. Well, this took me over my limit and now my bank is gonna charge me $50. So you're gonna need to credit me for that. Fortunately, sir, that is not something we're going to be able to do. What? This is the hotel's fault. Sir, the card that was used was the one that you offered authorized when you did mobile check-in. What, but that- There's a step in the mobile check-in process where it prompts you to approve either the card that is attached to your profile or add a different card. I'm just gonna contact corporate. Okay, you are more than welcome to do that. Just, just, just you wait until corporate contacts you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Hello, checking in. 
We are, we both have separate reservations though. All right, sure, well, whoever wants to go first, I'll see your ID and credit card. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so I see that we're checking in today and we're leaving on Friday, is that correct? Oh yeah, actually about that, whenever I was booking online, the weekend wasn't available, so I need you to extend me to check out on Tuesday. Oh, I am sorry, but we're still out this weekend, so I can't extend your reservation. Oh, well, there'll be cancellations, yeah, right? So just extend me whenever people cancel over the weekend, okay? All of our reservations are prepaid and non-refundable within 30 days, so it's highly unlikely that anyone's going to cancel and lose out on that much money, especially on a concert weekend like this. That's why we're here too, is for the concert this weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, well, okay, I do see the problem now. Um. Well, okay, but <laughs> there will still probably be a couple cancellations over the weekend, right? So can you just put me on the wait list then for extending? I'm afraid we don't do waiting lists, I'm sorry. You can come back on Friday and ask if there have been any weekend cancellations, but I'm going to tell you right now it's highly unlikely. So if I were you, I would recommend trying to find alternative accommodation over this weekend now rather than later. Oh, uh-huh, um... Well, my reservation also only goes until Friday, but I did book another reservation for Monday, and I was thinking we could just stay the whole way through. Uh, well, I'm afraid that we still can't do that because we are sold out over the weekend, so you are going to have to check out on Friday and check back in on Monday. You know what, I I'm sure it's gonna be fine. You know, like things tend to work out. So we'll just keep uh, coming back and asking after cancellations. And I'm sure something will pop up. Okay. No, seriously, yeah. they better I mean, have it was, a because it was like, so every expensive. Yeah, everything online was so minute. expensive. Yeah. Morning ladies, checking out. Okay, well actually we were really hoping that there would be a cancellation over the weekend. So is it seriously still no? I'm very sorry ladies, but there haven't been any cancellations for this weekend. So I'm afraid you are both going to have to check out of your rooms today late checkout um then can we at least have a late checkout i am sorry but we can't offer any late checkouts on days that we are sold out right um then i guess we'll just go back upstairs and finish packing then sure absolutely and again i am sorry <sighs> Do -do -do. oh housekeeping is calling um hi this is jess at the front desk how can i help Hey, it's Beth with Housekeeping. I'm standing outside of 4002. This was a travel with with 4001. Well, 01 is completely empty, but 02 is dead bolted. I can hear voices inside. I've knocked, I've called. I'm not getting any response. I'm thinking that they're planning on staying. What? Okay, let me see. Um, I do have both of their cell phone numbers on file, so let me try giving them a call. Okay, because we're past checkout time and I got a full house. I need to get in and clean this room, so uh, can you keep me updated on what they say? Yeah, of course. I'll keep you updated. Um, honestly, I would go ahead and call security and have them on standby because I got a feeling about these two. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those, huh? Alrighty, yeah, I'll give security a call. Okay, and then let's see, what was that number? Uh, <clears throat> Sure this is you know what? Idea. No, this is fine, okay? Because we've been here the whole time. We've tried to extend, and they're the ones refusing to extend us. And it's not fair that someone who's going to come in after us is going to get one of our rooms, okay? So I think it's perfectly fair for us to stay, okay? Hey. Hello? Hi, this is Jessica at the front desk. We spoke earlier. Yeah, so? Well, I believe I told you ladies earlier that we did not have any cancellations over the weekend and we can't offer any late checkouts, so we need you to vacate the room. It is over an hour past checkout time now. Well, look, my friend has his reservation again on Monday, so we think it's only fair that we should get to stay through from now until Monday. You are more than welcome to come check back in on Monday, but you have to check out today. You do not have reservations for tonight and the weekend. Well, I'm telling you that we're staying and there's nothing else that could be done about it. I am asking you to leave the premises right now and if you refuse, I will have to call security. She can't do that. I don't know. No, no. What do I do? Hang up, hang up, hang up. <laughs> See, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. Yeah, they can't kick us out. That's gotta be like illegal or something. Am I good to go? Mm-hmm. All right, 10-4. We'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. <sighs> uh, 
All right, ladies, I got two options for you. Either you leave or I throw you out. Which one's it gonna be? We're leaving. Leave. Yeah, we'll leave. We're leaving. Yeah.